Hi there. So I get this question a lot. Ryan, how do you survive without a car? P.S. If you don't already know, I don't drive. I've never had a car. I suck really bad at driving. I just got my license only so I could do car commercials. My Subaru takes me on my adventures when my bike can't. Now I know exactly why they call this big sky country. Which sounds kind of weird because I promote bikes all the time, but hey, I need to make money sometimes. Today, I'm gonna address how I go grocery shopping. Let's go. My giant. It's ugly, but it does the job. Down we go to the dungeon of bikes. Fancy socks. It's kind of cramped down here. Let's go, buddy. Woo! This is it. This is the bop trailer. This beautiful hunk of metal is the bob trailer, and it's been on all of my big bike rides. And it's good for groceries. Hook it up. And I just noticed that the tires. Okay, this goes here. I'm a good boy, I wear my helmet. Now this is the best part of grocery biking, actually biking. I'm excited about having food in my house. I've been eating crackers and cheese lately. You might be asking yourself, why doesn't Ryan have a car? He's 37 years old. Well, the answer is, when I was a little kid, I watched an Earth Day celebration on PBS and from that moment on, I promise to never drive a car. I want to be as nice as I can to Mother Nature, and I think biking is one of the best ways to do that. Besides the environmental reasons, it's just really fun to ride a bike. It makes you feel like a kid again, you know what I'm saying? Who doesn't love riding bikes? Anybody? Anybody? Four-way stop, four-way stop. I'm good. You get a little bit of exercise, you get a little bit of sun, you get to breathe fresh air, It just calms you down if you've been sitting in front of a computer all day. So that's pretty much, in a really short answer, why I ride my bike everywhere. I feel like I recognize you. That video Lucas post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good buds with Lucas user. Bikers are so friendly. I love them. Fun fact of the day, this is the neighborhood where I grew up. Time for one of Boulder's beautiful bike paths. Did you know that there's 300 days of sunshine in Colorado? Gotta lock up the bike. Boulder's not that safe. I don't know where I'm going. Here's a tip, I'd never take these little plastic bags. I just put the apples straight in the cart. You don't need the plastic bags. Southwestern burrito. Onward. You want original, because the sweet stuff is just way too sweet. Almond butter. This stuff is $12, but it's totally worth it. And we're supporting Justin, who lives in Boulder. Organic bananas. You know, I lived in Honduras for two years, which is the banana capital of the world, Banana Republic. There's another fun fact for the day. Oh, 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 I found them. I found them. I cannot live without these. Doesn't this seem like the scene in Star Wars where they're attacking the Death Star? Total Death Star scene. Slam. You know who likes hummus? This guy. Um, I think these guys are trying to rip off my buddy Joel. These 
are handmade with his hands. These, probably made in China. The crap. This is made by a Colorado boy. What? Are you taking Yeah. I just got busted for filming in Safeway. Apparently, no photos of the store. It's top secret, so. Welcome. I hate these machines. Oh, this bag is heavy as hell. This bag is heavy. When the bag gets this heavy, the bike just wants to fall over. You gotta be careful. Hi, buddy. Bad idea. Everything's falling down. All right. I did it. I hope you had fun shopping with me. Maybe it was a little bit boring. Maybe it was fun. I don't know. All I know is that I feel good that I got outside. So remember, get off your couch, get outside, and make some magic happen. Woo! If you like my video, please subscribe. We got more videos. Yes, we do. So subscribe right now. Balance has been restored. The beans are back. <laughs>